Hi there family, Joseph Sack of Grain is a weekly devotion for God's people by Pastor Joey Govender. When there was a famine, Joseph provided grain for his family and the masses around him. The grain sustained them. The Word of God is your grain and is vital for your spiritual growth, sustenance and success. Here's today's edition of Joseph's Sack of Grain. Hey there, beloved. I greet you in the name of Jesus Christ, the Lord. I have a word for you today, and that's from John chapter 10 and verse number 27. Jesus says, my sheep hear my voice, and I know them, and they follow me. Lovely words. Hear, know, and follow. Beautiful words. You see, when Jesus Christ talks about the sheep, he's talking about us, and he's the good shepherd. And so Jesus Christ says that we hear his voice, he knows us, and we follow him. So if you're a child of God, you belong to the family of God. You have to hear the voice of the Almighty God. You see, when you listen to the voice of the Lord, the voice of the Lord Jesus Christ through his word or whatever means he speaks to you by, when you listen to his voice, you must listen, you must comprehend what he's saying, and then you must do what he says, not just listen and remain the same way. When you hear his voice, you comprehend what he's saying, and then you do what he says. He says, they follow me. That's very important for you as a child of the living God. You see, when you listen to the voice of the Almighty God, he gives you guidance. He tells you what to do. He gives you the direction. He tells you where to go, what to do, and what you should do in various situations. And then also, he helps you and he warns you sometimes and tells you what is ahead. That's the purpose of the voice of the Lord Jesus Christ. He talks to you, he guides you in your life, tells you what to do, how to do it, whatever else. And then also he gives you directions. He says, do this, don't do that. And then very often he warns us, he says, be careful. You see, a lot of Christians make shipwreck of their lives. They ruin their lives. They get up, they start well. God gives them a good job, a good marriage, all the rest of it. But very soon they stop listening to the voice of God. They'd rather listen to the voice of friends, listen to the voice of colleagues and associates, read some book and get some idea out of that, or watch some movie, listen to some thing that's happening on some soapy. They miss the voice of God. And that's why they make shipwreck of their lives. That's why they end up in disaster. I'm speaking to you today. You see what Isaiah says. Isaiah and the prophets knew what it was to listen to the voice of God. Isaiah says in the 50th chapter, I'm going to paraphrase this for you. He said, God gets me up every morning and he gives me the tongue of the learned. And here's what he says. He awakens my ear to hear as the learned. He says, my ear is asleep. God wakes it up. And God says, listen to what I say. And he says, the Lord has opened my ear and I was not rebellious. Most people don't listen. And when God speaks to them, they don't do what God wants them to do. So today I'm saying to you, Jesus said, my sheep hear my voice. I know them and they follow me. How are you going to hear the voice of the Lord? Read the word of the Almighty God. Read the word regularly. Uh, you eat regularly, you do your exercise regularly, you go to church, you do all the other stuff. Now read the Bible, read the word of the Almighty God every day. That should be your diet. Then the second thing you have to do is you have to pray, but also allow the Holy Spirit to direct your prayer. Sometimes you pray just the way that you like to pray, but when the Holy Spirit directs you, he'll tell you to pray for specific things. And then the third thing you have to do is become spirit sensitive. Allow the Holy Spirit to speak to you. Open up your heart and mind and let the Spirit of the Lord minister to you. And lastly, you must have two or three witnesses. When God speaks to you and you make a decision, you have his guidance, you have his direction, you have his warning. Check with two or three. Now here's this, authentic witnesses. Talk to people who are praying people. Talk to people who go to church regularly. Talk to people who love the Lord. Talk to people who know God. Don't talk to any person, but talk to these people who know what God is saying and God will help you. So I pray today that when you hear the voice of the Almighty God, He says, I know you, and then you will follow Him. God bless you. He's going to talk to you again today, somewhere, somehow. The peace of God be with you. And I'll talk to you again shortly. Amen.